Star Wars fans, Jesse from the Imperial Academy, and we're back. So today I have for you something from my personal collection, the Return of the Jedi Biker Scout Pistol that Kenner released back in woo, 1984. Now, I remember buying this at Woolworth back when, you know, in 84, but I do not remember how much the price was back then. And I did save the box, but over the years, the box was obliterated and destroyed and thrown out. Now, the cool thing is about this uh, pistol is it had it takes C batteries, but I'm not sure where it where you put the C batteries. I'm thinking maybe in here, but I'll be honest with you, it's been years and years. I think I'm going to say maybe in the 80s was the last time I used it. And then I put it away. And that was one thing that I always did with my toys was put them away. And, you know, I'll play with them. And if they got dirty, I would clean them and put them away. Because I didn't want nothing bad happening to them. Hence my, you know, my collecting habit. So when this was uh, released back in the 80s, it didn't do a lot. It, did, you know, it wasn't that popular because a lot of the kids was more onto the better pistols I would say but I always liked this one because it more looked like a convert pistol where you hide and seek in a way now if I remember correctly when you put in the C batteries it you know makes a laser noise and if you look in here it looks infrared right that's pretty cool Here's the side. And then if you look here, you can, can barely see. It says Lucasfilm Limited. Six, 160, I believe. Kenner. And this was before Kenner uh, stopped everything because I think they stopped making figures and stuff like that back in 85. Yeah, it had to be in 85 because in 1995, they released Power of the Force uh, 2 figures. And, you know, what was cool about the box was when it was displayed in the box like this, when you turn the box to the side, and that's what caught me. It was this hole, and then looking in, I was like, no way, wow. You know, uh, infrared and all that, which was, you know, to me, pretty cool back then. But once again, this was released back in 1984, right after the uh, Return of the Jedi. And if you guys are, you know, my age, you have maybe seen this in some uh, Christmas catalogs. I'm not sure which ones, but I do remember seeing this. And I think I had the page, but that was probably thrown out years, years, and years ago. But it, it's a really cool item. I should put batteries in it, but I don't have no C batteries, and I really don't want to mess this up. And these in box probably go for maybe a hundred dollars or more, depending how good the box is. But if I was to buy it like this. I wouldn't, I, I mean, uh, it's hard to say, maybe, depends how much it's worth to you. I mean, if I saw it like this, condition, I would, maybe 20 bucks, I would probably pay for it, 20, 25. It's a really cool toy, and then you can see through the back. Right here's the light, so when you put in the battery, this will light up. And obviously they have to change the color here because back then in the 80s a lot of kids had these real replica guns and a lot of police officers, um, you know, mistake them as real guns. So this was released in 1984 and they did a really good job copying the movie version to uh, the toy version. 
and when the power of the force 2 came out uh, 10 years later they did relieve relieve sorry <laughs> release the uh um pistols like the stormtrooper uh han solo and that got a different color scheme it was like a orange like a orange uh, handle or something like that but i don't remember them re releasing the um biker scout that I don't remember and I don't think they did if they did I could be wrong but guys please like comment subscribe we're moving our, our, our subscribers are moving up and thank you so once again guys this is Jesse from the Imperial Academy pow, pow. you know it fits in your hand pretty good Look at there's a little for the thumb. Take that, Stan. We'll see you next time. May the force be with you all.